How do you train when you're perimenopausal? Watch this. Our first caller is Hildy from Ohio. Hi, Hildy. How can we help you? Hello. Hi. So I'm 54, um, five foot eleven with a larger build, perimenopausal. And um, I currently weigh 196 pounds and I'm trying to figure out what is the right calorie count for my activity level. Um, I started working out a little bit later in life, around 47. And I, uh, I train twice a week with a trainer. I do circuit training on my own one day a week. I run three to four days a week, averaging 12 to 15 miles. And I walk or I do the elliptical alongside the, the two days that I train virtually. Um, I was um, on and off Weight Watchers for the last two decades. I finally quit last year after realizing that it was just um, becoming too obsessive on my part with the scale and seeing my weight go down and then go back up. And uh, currently, I track my meals on my plate. and. Uh, I do have fibromuscular dysplasia, which kind of restricts me with weight work, but I still am fine with, with working out with the TRX and with weights. And um, I've tried everything from calorie cuts, 24-hour fast, undulating my diet, um, bringing up the calories, bringing them back down, uh, all, um, all with the goal of building up my metabolism, getting stronger, leaner. And the issue is really just finding the right calorie count for what I'm doing. Okay. Hildy, where, where do you get your information on, on, on building your metabolism? What have you done to try to build your metabolism? So I'm working with a trainer uh, who I've been with for eight years. And okay. he's a big fan of your show also. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. So maybe he'll listen yeah. to this. Have her stop running yes. so much and doing circuit training. Yeah. If you listen to my show, you know that that's the wrong thing to do. So the, the, the workouts that you're doing where you're running 12 to 15 miles a week, the circuit training is counter to what you're trying to do with boosting your metabolism. It's counter mm -hmm. that type of activity gets the metabolism to adapt in the other direction. Now they're calorie burners, but that calorie burn uh, very quickly, your body adapts and it no longer does anything for you. Now it doesn't mean it's unhealthy for you. It's probably healthy. In fact, I would say it might even be unhealthy at this point. You said you were perimenopausal. You're probably mm -hmm. doing too much. You're probably okay. doing too much stuff and your body is just holding on to stuff. Especially if you're in a calorie restricted diet too. So you, if you're restricting circuit training, running and that, I mean, yeah. that's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's not surprising at all that we were stalling as far as our progress right now. You're, by the way, you mm -hmm. are a uh, representative of like 60% of the clients that we <laughs> yep. trained. Yep. Okay. So yeah. we have a lot of experience with what you're talking about. So let's start with the workout. Then we'll get to the nutrition okay. and then we'll get to the, the, the root of all of this. Okay. So the workout should be completely focused on building strength. Mm -hmm. I, I want you to train in a way to build as much muscle as possible. Now, if, if that makes you worry, like I don't want to get real big muscles. Don't worry. You no, won't. Okay, good. You won't, but, but that's, what's going to move the metabolism in the right direction. It's also going to, by the way, the metabolism boost is a side effect of what's happening which is the muscle building, which is also a side effect of something else that's happening. Your hormones are going to organize themselves in a way to build muscle. So you talk about being perimenopausal. One of the best things you could do to get those hormones to regulate in a better way is to create the environment and send the stimulus for your body to build muscle. Because in order for your body to build muscle, you need what's called an anabolic hormone profile. Okay. So what does that look like? It's a it's a an appropriate testosterone level in women. Testosterone is, is important in women just like it is in men, it's just a different level. It's a balance of estrogen or progesterone. And that balance looks different when you're post when you're uh, menopausal versus pre pre, but it doesn't matter. There's still a balance that's ideal for building muscle. So it'll move towards that. You get more insulin sensitive and your growth hormone hormone levels start to rise. Okay. So uh, I would train you in a way to build strength and muscle. That would be the primary focus. Then as far as just being active. Well, let's talk about that for a second. Let's go, go a little bit deeper as far as the what the strength training looks like. Because a lot of people just assume because they pick up dumbbells or weights that they are. It is. Yeah, man. it is not. You are training like a strength athlete or like a bodybuilder. And I don't mean in terms of the intensity necessarily and all that stuff. But you're doing a set. 
Yeah. And you're resting for two minutes. Adequate rest. And then yeah. you're doing a set, and then you're resting Which for two minutes. It's going to be really uncomfortable for you if you haven't done that before. Yeah. It's something that you have to kind of work your way through mentally. Yeah. Short rest periods or no rest periods is just cardio with weights. So even though you're using mm -hmm. weights, it's really not that different in terms of the stimulus that it's sending to the body. So we have to do a set where you do eight, let's say eight reps or 12 reps with a good amount of intensity, trying to work on strength. Then you put the weight down and you rest for two minutes and then you repeat it. So you're doing sets of exercises. Uh, basically, you're doing strength training. You're doing it in a way, you're using weights in a way to build muscle and strength. And if you don't have a program of ours, I'll make sure to send you one that's appropriate. And then you could just I don't, that. but I love it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. I'll send you one that'll be just, you, you can follow the format and you can have your trainer modify it. Since they've been working with you for so long, there may be exercises that are more appropriate than some of the mm -hmm. ones that we have listed. Um, so that's, that, that's number one. As far as being active, I would eliminate the running. Do you like the run? Do you love running? Is it like your favorite thing to do or you just do it? I do. I've had like a, a love, I wouldn't say hate relationship over the years. Um, I was definitely faster and uh, doing more when I started out. And I've done five half marathons. I've done a lot of 10Ks, 5Ks. These days, um, I'm doing between three and four miles at a time. What, what do you uh, hate about it when you say love? Trail hate? running. You, you, what do you hate about it? The trail running? Is that what you said? I, no, 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 no. I love, I love trail running. No, I, I wouldn't say I hate it, but there's times when I would, I think I would lose my mojo and I'd wake up in the morning and say, oh, I got to go out and do this. Okay. So I go through these periods of times and right now I'm in an uptake where I, do, I am excited to do it and I plan ahead. I, you know, I put my clothes out the night before I have an idea of where I'm going to go. So I have a better attitude, but if you told me that it's getting in the way of things, then I'd prefer you walk. Yeah. yeah. Or, or let me ask right. you this. Okay. What At least you, for right now. Well, you said you like trail running. Let me guess mm -hmm. what you like about the trail running is that you're outside and you're out in nature. Okay. Can you hike? And I'm away from everything. Yeah. Can yeah. you hike or walk instead? I could. Okay. Yeah. I'd rather you do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That okay. is not going to be nearly as detrimental. So, uh, so I would walk or hike, not for the same distance, for the same time. So however long you run, turn it into a walk. Okay. Okay. So that's the same time. So how long are you running for typically? Um, I average somewhere between like a 10 and a 10, 45 minute mile. So if I'm doing four miles then it's 45 minutes, maybe. Oh, okay. Go do a 45 minute walk or hike walk. instead yep. that just switch okay. to that right now. Focus on strength training. We'll send you that. We'll send you a good program for that. And then as far as diet is concerned, I wouldn't worry about calories at all right now. Here's what I would do. Protein. Uh, yes. What, what's your target body weight? What would be a, like a good, healthy body weight for you? Um, I would say 175 to 180. Okay. I just haven't been there in a really long time. I've just seen it climb up between um, the medicine I've been on and just hormonal, I'm sure. Okay. And, the strain, and I have put on muscle over time, so... I, I would aim for 170 grams of protein a day, okay. all from whole food. So that looks like three 50 gram of protein meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then a 20 gram of protein meal in between there. Okay. Now, that, and I would, that's the goal. That is the focus. Eat mm -hmm. that first. Then the rest, just make it whole natural foods. Now, here's what's going to happen. It's going to be really hard to eat that much protein from whole foods you're going to find your satiety is going to kick in real hard. It's going to be like, you're going to be like, oh my God, I can't eat this because protein is very satiety inducing and mm -hmm. your calories are naturally going to fall where they should if you avoid heavily processed foods. So if it's all whole natural foods and you start with the protein, so you eat breakfast, you're like, okay, I need to have 50 grams of protein. So whatever that looks like, it's probably going to be something like four eggs plus some chicken or something else in there. And you're like, okay, mm -hmm. let me eat this and then eat that. And you're like, okay, I think I'm still hungry. I'll have a little bit of fruit. Or you're probably going to be like, I don't want to eat anymore. I'm, I'm really full. Then wait till lunch and then prioritize the protein and do that again. Your calories will naturally fall where they need to. The protein is going to fuel the muscle and the metabolism. And then from there, you're going to start to see the body compositions uh, start to change. So, so that's, that's, that's where I'll have you go. And it's better than what you did before with Weight Watchers or anything else, because I'm not telling you to take anything out. I'm not telling you to cut anything. I'm not necessarily telling you to hit targets except for protein. And if anything, you're, it's going to change from feeling like you're restricting, like you did when you were cutting calories mm -hmm. to what's probably going to feel like is you're stuffing yourself because protein is so 
so satiety inducing, like hitting 170 grams of protein every single day. I'll be surprised if you're able to do it without adding protein shakes from whole natural foods. You're going to be like, Oh my gosh, this is just, I don't know if I can eat this. That's how it's going to feel, but your calories are going to fall in an appropriate in a, in a, into an appropriate place. And what to expect is actually, you'll probably feel and see physical change and strength before you see scale weight go down. So don't get okay. hung up on, let's say you're listening to what we're saying and you're being very consistent with it for a month and you're like, damn it, the scale hasn't moved. Don't get hung up on that. Uh, focus more on how you like look. So you can look at yourself and go, if, and then what I suggest normally when I t put somebody on a program like this, I go, get, get in a bathing suit, take a picture of yourself front side back where you're at at first thing in the morning, say Friday or Monday morning. And then four weeks later, same thing again. First thing in the morning, Friday or Monday, whatever day you do it, and 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 be honest with yourself. Like, do I look and feel better than what I did here and there? And I promise you will see a difference from from those two points. That will happen faster than the scale starting to drop because we got to build the metabolism, right. we got to build muscle. There's a good chance that we'll see a nice even exchange of building muscle yeah. while while losing body fat, which will change your body. It will feel tighter. It will look better. But the scale may kind of stay the same initially before you start to really see the weight drop. What kind of access to exercise equipment do you have? Do you have a gym or do you work out at Oh, home? I put a whole gym in my basement. I oh, cleared out yeah. when my kids left the house. I <laughs> So I've got a TRX hanging from my ceiling. I've got a, a bench. I've got different sizes of kettlebells. Um, different weights go, starting from five pounds to 30. Um, but my weight limit is 30 right now okay. because of the FMD. Um, I've got a BOSU trainer, a resistance bands. So you have dumbbells, you have dumbbells, right? I, up, up. I have dumbbells pretty much every size up okay. to 30 pounds. Okay. Then, then uh, MAPS Anabolic is the program I'm going to have you do. And okay. I want you to start in pre-phase and, and go ahead and do the three day a week version. So there's a two day a week and a three day a week version. Do the three day a week version because you've been working out. So you've got some fitness. Do the dumbbell at home version. So there's a modifier modification in there where it's just dumbbells. Um, mm -hmm. Otherwise it, it uses barbells. It doesn't sound like you have barbells. So follow the one that's dumbbells. Do no other strength training, no circuit training, no nothing else. Just follow the MAPS anabolic program as it's laid out. And your trainer can look at it and modify it if they need to. But if they try to cut your rest periods, don't do that. They try to combine exercises and do whatever, then then make sure you have them listen to this episode or give him give give us his phone number. We'll call him. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put him on the show. Call, call his ass. Yeah, because you got <laughs> we have to put you in the direction of building. That's what's going to move things in the right direction. Otherwise, what's going to happen, Hildy, is you're going to keep you're going to stay on this hamster wheel that you're on right now, where you right. gain, lose weight, gain, lose weight, gain. By the way, every time you do that, it probably feels like it's harder. Uh, to, to move in the right direction. So we're, we're going to move things in the right direction, but it's going to be through strength and muscle. So normally I, I've been doing the thing on Sunday that he created for me and I work out with him on Tuesday and Thursdays. So should those days now be switched to following your program? Yes. Yes. I mean, hopefully he's, if he's a fan of the show, he'll hopefully yes. be, be okay with following. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So hopefully you can bring to him the next time you see him say, Hey, the guys wanted me to do maps anabolic. They said pre phase three days a week. Would you take me through these movements? And then there's tremendous value having him train. You. Watch now, your form. Are you training with him in the gym or is he coming to your house? No, we actually do it virtually. So oh, he, he oh, watches uh, you while you, you work out. Got you. Okay. Got you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Then, then but he does a full body. Um, we, you know, sometimes we, we focus a little more on upper body and core, but we do get the whole body in. Um, okay. Sure. So like Thursday's more legs today. We did more, um, upper body core. Yeah. But so, I'm, I'm going to guess it's a lot, it's a lot, it's more like circuit and faster. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that, so that is going to be the, I, I can picture it right now too, is like, so the most, uh, awkward or difficult thing is that you guys should have these two to three minute, <laughs> breaks on zoom you know he's going to be you're going to yeah. have done an exercise and then you're going to sit there and not do shit for three minutes like just oh yeah so be prepared he, for that you know <laughs> he talks to me while like he usually gives me um a 60 second break sometimes 90 depending on how long the circuit was so we we chat in between i i have a chance to get a hold of myself but um yeah it's, so it's Three days a week of doing the strength work. You're yes, saying, yes, yep. yes, and yep. then okay. and then and then and then just 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 stay active, and so maintain. You can maintain those days you run, but turn them into walks or hikes. Okay, and and, you, and then you're you'll be set. 
And then hit the protein okay. targets, like I said, and prioritize that. And the calories are going to fall where they need to. Great. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem. We'll send you that program. And then of course you can give your trainer access because so he can look at it. So you can go ahead and share your password. We don't let anybody else do that, but <laughs> that's, <laughs> okay. that's illegal. But. I was just going to ask you in terms of, um, I know the protein is the, um, the emphasis, but carbs, is there anything I should focus more on versus, I, I know you said natural foods, but that's it for now. So like fruit. No, okay. that's it for okay. now. You could have rice. You could even have pot. If, if your body handles yeah. pasta, whatever you digest well, yeah, yeah. whatever, I, whatever. Just avoid heavily processed foods. So I don't, I wouldn't eat right. anything that comes out of a wrapper or a box just because those foods right. are engineered to make you overeat. And so, okay. you know, and, and this is the thing, Hildy, that, that is when you eat in the way that we're kind of talking or starting your, your calories will end up where they need to. So you're not going to have to sit there and like count and focus and what's going on and here, whatever. When you throw heavily processed foods in, those foods are so carefully designed and engineered to make you overeat that your calories are going to fall much higher. It just doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It's just going to happen. So that's all you got to do. So afterwards, you're like, all right, what do I want for carbs? Oh, that's whole natural. Okay, well, it could be rice. could be oatmeal. could be fruit. Um, it could be anything in a whole natural I'll sense. give you my favorites. Mm -hmm. My favorites of my clients are sweet potatoes, yams, quinoa, rice, uh, all fruits Fruit. and, and vegetables. That's the, that's the go-to okay. right there. Rotate through okay. all that. And uh, and again, like Sal said, hit your protein first and then right. in, in, indulge in the other. And you'll see it'll probably naturally just kind of level your calories where you need to be. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. You got it. Thanks all for right, calling Elite. in. Thanks a lot. Boy, that, that, when you hear someone like that, is that flashback? Like, oh, that's every client that I trained yeah. for years. You know, yeah. same struggle, same thing. Yeah, and been through a lot of those like programs, those weight loss kind of programs, and then having to kind of, you know, condition them that look, we do have to rest, we got to build strength, and that's you know a long conversation that you always yeah. have to have. And plus, our generation and her generation, right? She's she's a little older. We were taught uh, that the way that you work out to get lean is you need to constantly be Sweat. moving, you constantly need to be sweating, yeah. and fat is bad and watch your calories and, oh, you want to lose weight, go run, or you're going to lift weights, make sure you don't rest. That's the way you burn body fat. So it gets really hard because she's going to switch to the style of training, do what we say, and she's like, I don't feel like I'm doing enough. It's going to take a yeah. minute. It's gonna. That's why I, I wanted to put emphasis on, like, you know it's going to be weird, right, sitting yeah. on a Zoom for mm -hmm. three minutes yep. <laughs> between. Like she says, sometimes he gives her a six. Sometimes she gets a 60-second rest. Well, wait till you have to sit there for three minutes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's after every single time you do a set. Like, that's going to be. It's a good point because, I mean, if you're a trainer and you're coaching somebody virtually like that and you want to show value, you know, you don't want to waste their time. And, and so – you know, I'm sure like that's sort of the intention, like good intentions. But for her, she really needs that rest to be able to switch into like a straight hundred percent, hundred percent. You're right on with yes. what that is. That is totally a trainer who probably knows what they're supposed to do and what's best. If that client was coming in, listen, you're training someone virtually. Yeah, it's awkward to sit there for two minutes. Can picture it. Well, because you know why? You're literally sitting on the Zoom more than you are teaching or yes, coaching. Yes, yeah. <laughs> There's if, do the math. Yeah. A set's only going to take her. Maybe yeah, 30 seconds, 30 seconds top. Then she's going to rest for three minutes, like yeah. the two to three minutes. Like I, I mean, my advice to the trainers are really just come in with some educational material to then, you know, those breaks, like teach her something, teach right. her something, you know, nutritionally teach her something like, you know, in terms of exercise mechanics, something, yeah. you know, to bring. Yeah, I used to sell my clients uh, on why we're doing what we're doing. I thought, you say, I thought you were going to say, I used to sell my clients on why they need more training. <laughs> <laughs> while we're training. Yeah. Hey, all, right. You what. <laughs> all right, now that we're done with this, this also, is a, yeah, this here comes a, this here comes a commercial this break. Yeah, three minute commercial. Here's the commercial break. <laughs> 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 Just constant commercials. Oh, man. Yeah.